the generation my grandfather belongs to is part of this generation called the greatest generation. And they're called that because they were the first generation to name themselves. <laughs> they're like, we beat the Nazis. That's the best generation. We meet the Nazis. Everyone else can F off. <laughs> and then after that generation, there's a generation called the silent generation. Uh, we don't know a lot about that generation, obviously. Mostly mimes. <laughs> and then after that, there's the baby boomers. A lot of people uh, in this room might be baby boomers. My dad is a baby boomer. Sometimes they're called the Vietnam generation. My dad didn't serve in Vietnam. I give him a lot of crap for it. He has, all, he has so many excuses. He's like, I, I'm a pacifist. They never called my number. I was 11 when the war ended. I was like, whatever, coward. <laughs> and then there's Generation X after that. And then there's my generation, Generation Y, or the Millennials. Yeah. Hi, guys. Surprised you can afford to come to a comedy club on a weekend, but appreciate that. That's the define, like a lot of generations have defining characteristics. For millennials, it's that we're poor and that we're more likely to be a vegan. That's it, and being a vegan is like being a war veteran. But you don't get a medal, you just have to like know that you're a hero. <laughs> Although it's weird, there's a whole generation of like people who have like, I spent the last year writing on a television show. And none of you guys saw it. It was canceled really quickly. It was called The Great Indoors. But at the end of this television show, I checked my bank balance and I had $5,421 in my bank account. And this is how little I know about being an adult. I saw the bank balance on the ATM screen and I thought to myself, with no irony, I should buy a house. <laughs> Not a big house. One of those small $5,000 houses. <laughs> How is any millennial ever gonna buy a home? How is any young person ever gonna own a home? It's maybe hate old people. I see a few of you in here tonight. I hate you. Because every old person in a cool city like this, or New York, or LA, or Boston, or Seattle are the same. Every old person's like, my house is worth a million dollars, but when I bought it in 1968, I paid 11 raspberries for it. <laughs> and every young person's like, I have nine roommates! <laughs> One of them's a raccoon with rabies. We'd love to get him out, but his name is on the lease. <laughs> and every old person's like, I'm a librarian with a lake house. Up yours! 